Students from various schools come to Votech to get training in a trade they wish to pursue for the future. If those kids wish to take their Votech experience further, they can join a program called Co-op. Ms. Mushko, a Co-op coordinator who has been doing this for over 17 years, helps place the students for their required job. Co-op stands for Cooperative Education, or in our case, it's a, an extension of the classroom into the workforce. Co-op is available at the Votech that provides a student with a job at a company that is looking for employees that has to do with their trade. And there are two types. There's the diversified occupations and capstone. And we're considered capstone. Their training has to be related to what they're being trained for at the vocational or career and technical institute. It also gives the student a head in their career from their other peers for the future. Is that they've had the opportunity to work with business and industry people. Uh, they've learned some advanced skills. They've already had some team building skills, some safety management classes a lot of times. Uh, they are trained to work in an industry setting, which means that they're involved in more production with different companies. Um, they have to meet deadlines. Uh, as far as putting the outcomes and materials and um, workplace skills that cannot be duplicated in, in a school setting. Okay. That's the most important thing. They learn workplace skills that just cannot be duplicated in a workplace, in a school setting at all. But you can't just sign up for co-op and you're in. There are special requirements needed to get accepted in co-op. One of those requirements are maintaining an acceptable attendance record and past grades within the class must meet the standards. Having good recommendation from your teacher is a must because their say lets the co-op board know that the student can handle the job's duty and they cannot place you until the board sorts it out with your instructor. Another thing about co-op is when you are accepted, every first and third Wednesday of each month, all co-op students must meet in a scheduled meeting area that will conduct of refining and enhancing the student's skill as a worker. The students go to co-op Monday through Friday, however, they can modify their schedules and get different days and they do get school credit for going to co-op. Since co-op is pretty much like getting a job, child labor laws do apply, and you can get fired, but you cannot work overtime. If you're unable to attend work, you must call the Votex attendance office. The information will be recorded on each student's lab record, and a note will be placed in their co-op folder. Also, if you are under the age of 18, working papers are required, and then they need to be secured through the pupil service or guidance office at the sending school district. One step the student must do before they start working is they must observe for one or two or more days and learn about the particular occupation or industry. This is called job shadowing. It allows the student to receive first-hand information and educational requirements. Another thing is by the law of Pennsylvania, a student must gain exposure to the particular occupation with 60 hours of unpaid hands-on training so the student can get a feel for the different tasks and activities in that workplace. After the student is finished with the training, they can start working for money. The pay is minimum wage or higher, depending on how long you've worked there. If the economy doesn't do well, then finding a job becomes more difficult. Mike, one of the carpentry co-op students who is currently laid off, is upset by the way the economy is doing. Side jobs, um, anything I can until I go back to work in two weeks. So. As of right now, Mike is toning up on his skills and doing book work in his class, waiting for the opportunity of a job to come. The purpose of this program is to provide students before graduation a real opportunity to acquaint themselves with the world of work. Thank you, America. You've been fun.